Josh Jackson. Hands it off to Leak, and Leak is tripped up right around the line of scrimmage. Coming up to make the play, Luke Reimer, a spectacular job all season long. Men and women bringing you these broadcasts each week. Once again, blowing things up in the backfield, it's Luke Reimer. What a play. He just ran that alley. Again, takes out the legs of Leak. Game of nine. Pressure coming from Ramsey behind him. That ball is out. And that's loose on the field. Reimer might have it. Reimer came in from behind. Nope, Northwestern got it back. Looks like he was going against Peter Skaronski, the freshman. And then he doesn't just go for the sack. Does the old T.J. Watt go for the ball, able to get it out. And he eyes down his receiver, Allen. Unfortunate play for the Huskers. Anderson trying the right side. He goes backwards. Nowhere to go. Colin Miller and company. 119 to go in the third quarter. Watch Reimer, 28, shoot his gun right there. That means he attacks downhill. He sees the lineman pull. Changes at the line of scrimmage to his receiver. Levis, under pressure, and sacked. Luke Reimer. And the defensive line for Nebraska really comes through there. Caleb Tanner, we talked about him. Drive the ball over. Here's Brown, met again and driven back. Ben Stilling was the first to meet him. The Big Ten in that category. Here's Chase Brown. And come that, that's Kyron Cumbie. He's had four turnovers. Illinois has turned them into points. They got a 21-point lead. As we begin the fourth quarter, Luke Reimer comes flying in to stop Chase Brown. Sometimes you can get tackled right away. Got it in front of him. Let him gain a few extra yards. Good to Reimer. It's a running back's job there to take it the rest of the way. Goods in again. And tripped up by Reimer. Third and four. Here's Petrus. Steps up. And he stopped short. Again, check with me, Tanner Morgan. Looks to the sideline. And they opt into a run. That's the third straight run for Ibrahim with really nothing at all. Oh, this is a gigantic play in this game right now. He didn't get there. And Van Trees is going to hand it off. Going to be well short. Luke Reimer with another tackle. Van Trees, the reigning conference offensive player of the week, just threw an interception. Reimer picked it. And Reimer is knocked out just shy of the goal line. They're going to take a look at this to see if he got into the end zone, but that is our first turnover of the ball game for either side. Well, he stays in bounds. Does he land on a ball? Oh, there he goes. That's a, oh, how about the call real time? That is an amazing spot real time. The left foot steps out of bounds. Hard hitting ball hawking type safeties Nebraska's been able to recruit. They're going quick, Damon. Second effort. I don't know that McDuffie got there. Yeah. He did not. Tailback behind him is Kenneth Walker, the third. Leads FBS in rushing, and here is Walker trying the right side, and he is stuffed. Walker's seven carries, only eight yards. There's no option. There's a flip. Walker is smacked down near the 25. He's going to be about a yard shy of the first down. Third down. They've missed on its last seven. Pressure coming on Thorne. Pocket collapsing, and down he goes. A sack back inside the 15-yard line. And Reimer, the Huskers, force another three and out. Yeah, the fourth three and out forced by a five-man rush. Single blocks across the board for Michigan State's offensive line. And they just in goal from a couple guys. Let's take credit for that. One for nine on third down. Nebraska brings four. Four searching, rolling, still looking throws. And that's a sliding catch made with Haskins on his left hip. It is a run for him, and he is dropped for a loss. The ball comes out, but he's rolled down. 
Luke Reimer with a huge play. That's going to make it a tougher field goal as well. Bell, bottom of your screen on third down. Scott Frost tried to call a timeout, didn't get it. Pass is caught right at the sticks. Receiver for a big play at the end of that first half. Doru takes it and doesn't get much. In fact, he may have lost about a half yard. Reimer. O'Connell. Sacked. Ben Stilley. And it is Chanel, and he goes down for a loss, and Nebraska will take over on downs. Luke Reimer was all over that play. Well, Nebraska needed a defense to stay alive, fourth and short, and it's the great push by Nebraska with a huge stop. On second and eight, Goodson. And Goodson, oh, it lost the football. Football culture and life outside of the game over around the golf should be fun. Check it out. And now a completion. Iowa, great start to the drive. Fumbled at the end, but out of bounds. And now they've got a chance to take the lead on this drive. Good send, tracked down in the backfield for a loss. Come to town. Brian Ellis said it. If you're a wide out in this system, the opportunities are going to be there tenfold for you. Stay through the air. And right over the middle, another completion. This one to Amari Jones. He keeps fighting towards that chain. All day for Nebraska. Can Georgia Southern block him? Second down pass, Van Trees lofts and completes with Jeremy Singleton. White stays in the game on first down. Van Trees keeps it himself. Great job by the Nebraska defense. They read that like a textbook. Is because the defense has not played well. They've got to improve today. Gabriel standing in the pocket now bounces around and finally tracked down and taken down. Nicely done. Hazelak to throw it. Oh, big hit by Luke Reimer. And the ball came out. No, incomplete. So that's an interception for Reimer. And uh, initially ruled incomplete. I don't know if replay helped out, but eventually they got it right. 44, Garrett Nelson, their best pass rusher. DeVito dumps it off. Williams gets a block. And they finally push him back at the 23. Luke Reimer. At the 23 for Minnesota. Kelly McManus underneath. It's caught, but no room at all for Daniel Jackson. Kelly McManus wants to run it, bottled up, and take it down for a loss. This time it's Keldrick Moody. He's run the ball for 65 yards this year. Well, they do get the ball in space to smoke Harris, and he breaks one tackle, and he's a really good yards after catch player. And Harris picked up yards after catch all the way up to the 35 and just barely enough to move the chains. And that's been a huge storyline today. It seems like anytime they get in scored position, they're their own worst enemy. Sullivan back to Lausch. And now Lausch, he's tripped up. Great tackle made by Luke Reimer. This is a great job by Quentin Newsom. He's going to be coming off the right side of your screen. Watch this play as it unfolds. This looks like a wide receiver sweep, but then you see Sullivan leak out to the flat, and there's number six, Newsom, sitting in position. Card is going to run it. Very safe and conservative call. Brought down at the 32-yard line, which was the original line of scrimmage when the drive started. Playing behind a beat-up offensive line against a hot defense. Handoff up the gut. That's Dylan Downing. And a flag comes in. Mockaby in the backfield. Mockaby gets it, trying to get the edge. He reached for it. Did he get it? Reimer was forcing him out. He said short, and they are. And it was one of the three key elements their victory today is pressure. Backside pressure. And down goes Levitt. In white. Watch Greer come around off the edge there. You can see him standing up in a nice slight shade over the tight end. Nice arm over and rip. Gets to the quarterback. Clear path right there. Now all the 
but if, it, it was a low risk call. Nice arc on it. If you've seen the way this guy throws the ball, Caden Hauser throws a beautiful ball. Third touch down, underneath it. Third down and seven. He'll call his own number. And he looks to have the first down. Very close. We'll see. They're going to spot him short by about oh, a foot, maybe two. First and long. Take it to Aker. Good protection. Mordecai running out of time. He's going to have to run it. And he tripped up from behind. Quick bolt to the quarterback by Luke Reimer. Well, let's take a look at the Walmart Plus look from above. Luke Reimer on a delay blitz is going to just stay alive with the play. He beat the block of Jackson Aker. Empty side. Wouldn't be surprised if Nebraska brings pressure. The receivers up to the right. And it's going to be a loss of a, a yard on the play.